in a significant judgment passed by the Supreme Court very recently, the Apex Court ruled that the officers who are empowered with powers under Section 53 of the NDPS Act are to be considered as police officers within the meaning assigned thereby by Section you know, 25 of the Evidence Act. Consequently, any uh, you know, confessional statement made to such officers under the NDPS Act would be inadmissible or forbidden or barred under the provisions of the Section 25 of the Evidence Act. In other words, such confessions cannot be relied upon for convicting the accused or an accused, let's say, under the NDPS Act. This ruling came as part of a judgment delivered in the, in the month of October by, by the Supreme Court bench headed by uh, uh, you know, Justice Rohinton Nariman. The title of the case being uh, you know, Tufan Singh versus uh, the, the uh, state of Tamil Nadu. So basically the Supreme Court held that the officer investigating the matter under the NDPS Act would qualify as a police officer and the statement recorded by the said investigating officer under section 67 of the NDPS Act cannot be treated cannot be treated as as a confessional uh, you know statement section 67 of uh, the act of the NDPS Act you know basically deals with the power of the officers to call for information from any person during the the, the course of any inquiry in connection with the contravention of the uh, of, of any provision uh, of the NDPS Act. This may you know, include requiring any person to produce or deliver uh, any document or thing uh, useful or relevant to, to the inquiry, uh, you know, examining any person acquainted with the facts and circumstances of the case. These powers are similar to that of an officer in charge of a police station. And Section 25 of the of the Evidence Act provides that no confession, as many of you would already know, no confession made to a police officer shall be proved as against a person accused of any offense. That is Section 25 of the Evidence Act. The, the Supreme Court based its ruling on the premise of predominantly, I would say, five fundamental grounds or reasons. First, that the NDPS Act contained provisions for the prevention, uh, you know, uh, 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 and, and punishment of crimes of very serious nature. Though the object of the same act was to regulate and exercise control over narcotics, drugs, and psychotropic substances, but the provisions of prevention, uh, detection, uh, and, and punishment of crimes, detention of punish, punishment of crimes related thereto, were more. Uh, important than uh, 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 you know for, for the purposes of achieving object of the act. Secondly, all the offenses to be investigated by the officers under the NDPS Act were cognizable in nature. Thirdly, the concerned provisions of the NDPS Act, unlike you know other revenue statutes, did not prescribe any limitation, mind it, upon the powers of the officers to investigate an offence under the Act. And therefore it was, it was clear that all investigative powers vested in an officer in charge of police station under the CRPC, including the, the, the power to file a charge sheet, are vested in these NDPS officers when dealing with uh, an offence under the NDPS Act. So they, so they were proceeding uh, or having powers similar to that of a, a police officer in charge of a police station. Fourthly, with regard to a confessional statement made before an officer designated under section 42 or uh, you know section 53 of the NDPS Act, the safeguards were imperative, Supreme Court felt, so as to ensure constitutional guarantees contained in articles 14, 20, sub clause 3 uh, uh, of the Constitution of India. Finally, you know, the court relied also on, on the ground and reasoning that the interpretation of a statute like the NDPS Act needed to be in conformity and in tune with the spirit of the broad 
fundamental rights not to you know incriminate oneself and 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 to preserve the right of privacy definitely a historical judgment i feel delivered by the supreme court and a big relief for the accused and perhaps the victims under the ndps act thank you